All right, this is take two on just making a quick little video to show off this Macintosh MR71 FM stereo tuner. This video is basically just because I'm going to be selling this unit, and I didn't think just pictures and a written description could really do it justice. It's in really just awesome shape for... Uh, being probably over 50 years old at this point. I'm not exactly sure what year the MR71 was produced, but it's gotta be the 70s and now it's 2022, so easily approaching 50 years old. And it still looks and works like almost like new. So I have that connected directly to a uh, another really rare vintage stereo amplifier. And then that's connected to some super modern, high-end Canton loudspeakers. So, let's turn this stuff on. This is the power. No, that's volume. That's power. First click puts it into mono mode. So you could listen to FM stations in mono. I don't know why you would want to do that, but it does give you that option. And then you go up to stereo, and it takes about 20-30 seconds for the tubes to warm up, and then it should start playing. There we go. And that's it. It's uh, working. This re er, receiver, this tuner does have variable volume output. So in this scenario, I have it connected directly to an amplifier. I have the gain knobs on the amp just maxed out. And since it has variable volume out, you don't really need to put a preamp in between this thing and the amplifier. If you're just doing stereo, I mean, if you're just doing an FM tuner setup, that's really all you need is an amp and the tuner and speakers, obviously. So yeah, this is the machine, machine working basically like the day it was new, even though it's over 50 years old. It's well older than me. And, uh, I am going to be putting this unit up for sale on Audiogon. So, yeah, it is really nice. I just don't have a use for it and it takes up a lot of space. Got it hooked up with an old fashioned bow tie style antenna. And then let's go around back. Slide the little table this stuff is on. See the tubes in there kind of glowing. And there is definitely some, let's call it patina on the, uh, the metal back there, but I didn't want to scrub that away because I know that sometimes removing the original patina from antiques actually lowers the value, which is weird to me. So I've just left it alone. The only thing I've really ever done to this is just uh, dusted the uh, original hardwood cabinet with some pledge. And uh, I did have to take it to an electronics service place and they replaced some of the capacitors in the power supply circuit because those were getting old. But now it works like a brand new 50 year old tuner. 